Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And uh, one of the questions that I've seen a few times with um, the comments section on the channel is about the uh, device manager and the fact that some of you have seen that you have either a red X or yellow triangles in the device manager. And um, on some devices, sometimes it says, well, you know, this has a problem, but but it works well in some cases. Um, and what to do? Well, one of the major problems about this is often the lack of basic drivers from the manufacturer. If you install Windows, but don't install the manufacturer's drivers, sometimes you will have missing drivers that will show up with little yellow triangles saying, well, you know, this is not working or this doesn't have a driver or this has a problem. Sometimes it doesn't prevent the device from actually working because it might have enough of the basic functionality still in Windows, but it will be missing features that you don't see because the driver is not complete. So if you do have um, missing drivers, yellow triangles, and, and things like that in your device manager, what are unknown devices also is something you might see. One of the things that I would start by doing is go to your manufacturer of your PC website. So if you've got a Dell or Acer or you know Lenovo or HP, go to the website of the manufacturer. Search for your specific computer model. And in there, you'll see that there are drivers. And there are often packages of system drivers that are installing all sorts of things uh, in driver wise and that might actually complete what's missing in your system for example one of the uh, things that i've seen a lot is well the sound drivers work you have audio but you might have a yellow triangle or something wrong with the device of the audio and you're wondering well i got sound what's wrong well, sometimes there are software and there are special drivers that the manufacturer has. And in one case, for example, on one of my computers here, if I just install Windows, I have sound. If I install the manufacturer drivers for the sound, the sound is about 10 times louder. So it gives some functionalities that the basic drivers sometimes don't have. So go and check out your manufacturer. If it's a PC that was built uh, then it gets a little more complex because you might need to go to different manufacturers, one for the motherboard manufacturer, one for whatever other devices you might have. But check it out and try to find as much as you can from these devices. Also, unplug anything USB and look at the device manager. That's the other thing you should do. So if you are actually having problems, uh, with something or if you don't know what is that device that is having problems by unplugging all the USB devices you might actually find out by replugging them one by one ah this is the one that doesn't have a driver it says unknown or is missing something and then you might go to you know the printer manufacturer or whatever depending on what it is that you plug in the USB ports but uh, Check out, first of all, the packages of drivers that the manufacturer of your PC has. They often will fix a lot of the missing driver problems in Windows. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.